Hi folks, I hope you're enjoying the campaign so far. We started last weekend kind of with an intro, set some things out. Uh, end the day last night, we, uh, we talked about really our key question that, what is God showing me as mm. I go through pain? Like, what is he showing me in this circumstance? But once God shows you some things, then God often moves and he needs to move into this zone. It's the word correction. We'd hate this word. Yeah, this is yeah. a lousy word. <laughs> Stay I, away. <laughs> yeah, in fact, the Bible in one version says it's no fun to be corrected. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah. I yeah. know that because when Linda tries to correct me. It's no fun. When she, no fun. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> when that? she tries to correct you? <laughs> tries. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, All you right. keep telling yourself He that, said yeah. it. <laughs> he said it, hey, Mrs. Isn't, Jones. Isn't it, uh, come on, yeah, play innocent. <laughs> Uh, I know you guys find the the hardest to be corrected by those closest to you. Yes. Oh. And it's a very vulnerable thing. Right. Very vulnerable. Even on little things like fashion oh. or whatever. Oh, I, I choose things. I want to wear that. And I she, used to. I used to. I've just given in. She, do you? Do but you're fashion, no good at I've that. I've just given in. She just does a good well, job. Well, you're much I more mature on me I used on to this. fight it, but yeah. Right. Because for me, I, I get this frown look when I... Okay, you don't like that. What's next? Mm. You know, kind of a thing, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's yeah. <laughs> getting corrected is never fun. No. But correction is the very important tool in yeah. God's toolbox yeah. for making us like himself, like making us stronger, making us immovable. Yes. In fact, what you see is the Bible behind us on this screen. In fact, none, nothing is written on its pages can be part of your life without this process. Absolutely. Yeah, this yeah. is the thing that that makes us correction yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i i if you have a kid you know that i have four okay good <laughs> point okay so you have kids and Multiple. and and the normal thing you know i mean you you see with correction is parents don't necessarily love to bring correction no right it, because i don't know it's it's like a kind of a double whammy. You're causing them pain and you don't like to see your kids in pain so that kind of causes you some pain too but also it's just not fun to have to correct somebody in right. general, mm -hmm. right? So right. it is painful on both ends. Um, and so. yet without that correction how do you move them forward Absolutely. in things that in behavior and maturity mm -hmm. so exactly. that they are bringing out the good, building their yes. lives. Exactly. And, and part yeah. of building others. And, and Angela, you would know this too. You, you watch it happen when you do, you know, you do the, the tough job of doing that correction, whatever it has to be. Mm -hmm. And then shortly afterwards, there's like this time of the, the kid is just clinging to you and just... Mm -hmm. It opens up a new level of intimacy and yes, ability to have that because when we are trying to keep things hidden in the dark, we don't want to be exposed, which creates this tension between a parent and child, between spouses, between us and, and God, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it is painful, but it's in fact the opposite of loving if a parent does not correct a child yeah. and allows this to go on. In fact, it's absolutely necessary to remove that tension, right? It is. Because if you don't remove that tension, the intimacy can't really be there. It can't be there. And so God does that with us too, mm -hmm. see, so that we can... He be, wants that He intimacy, wants that. In yeah. fact, he won't settle for anything less. That's right. So he doesn't stop correcting his mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. He will constantly correct his yes. children. Yeah. But it's always from perfect love, perfect truth. That's right. That's the thing about God. Yes. yes. They both reside together. It's not Absolutely. like he's just right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. He's, he is right. He's, he's not wrong. Also <laughs> he's also loving. He's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, so but, it's not all just pain for the sake of pain. Yeah. No. Never with God is it pain for the sake of pain. He's got the end point in mind. He does, which yeah. is our growth and our connection with him, our relationship with him. And with each other. Yeah. Know, it, it affects those around us too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If we, our, our correction and the things, the adversity that we need to go through to be corrected often does affect those around us negatively. And I mean, we see this with the story of Daniel, the adversity he's going through, the being taken captive and, and all of that, that wasn't from his direct disobedience to God. This was the nation he was a part of. Yeah. 
And how did he respond, right? Not with why me. No, it certainly wasn't. Right? Yeah. It was more he took a look and he was going to trust God. Yeah. Uh, God offers in truth and love yeah. towards even Israel. Yes. And so that was something that's needed. He mm -hmm. was correcting Israel. By the way, when they did return, yeah. they never, ever chased an idol after that. Wow. They, they didn't. Ever. So it was like wow. that correction came major to them as a nation. Cute. But Daniel's a part of that correction, even though his heart is not of that. That's yeah. right. He's always loved God mm -hmm. first, not the world. Mm -hmm. And he didn't go in this idle thing back and forth. That's right. So correction for him, he was kind of like a casualty on the mm -hmm. side of this correction. But God's purpose in it was to make him this amazing uh, ruler and influencer mm -hmm. in, in that world. Yeah. Just through using that correction. He was Israel's way back. And that's what's so cool about God is when he corrects us, there's always a way back. There's always a way yeah. back. Yeah. Always is. Here's a great scripture uh, I want to bring in right now from on correction from Job, actually. Right. 517, mm. who I imagine, I mean, Job going through this, he didn't bring any of this no, on himself he didn't. either. This no. was just a test, mm -hmm. which is a form of correction. That's right. So he said this, he said this about God, consider yourself fortunate if God all powerful chooses to correct you. Wow. What an attitude to choose is a privilege to be corrected by God. It is. Wow. Imagine a, a perfect God in truth, a perfect God in love, who says, you know what? I'm going to correct you here. Yeah. Because, y you know, this is going to destroy you. This is this yes. going to do you no good. This yeah. is taking you down. I want to bring you up. Yes. yes. And I think uh, a, a, a neat way to look at it would be, like God is the expert on everything. Right. right? He's, <laughs> He's the expert teaching on everything. the master class so, on this. So yeah. it'd be like... Uh, you're stepping up to the tee, and what's that fellow's name? Mike Weir, golfer. Mike, the, the Canadian, the old guy that's, that's kind of almost Mike not retired tired. on the senior street. He's okay. Canadian. Uh, <laughs> Nelson, Nelson, let me show you. I'm just going to correct you a little bit. Like, what, what do you say to that? No, I got it. I'm good. Yeah. Like, well, I'd yeah. say you're left-handed. You know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the attitude that'll get you in trouble. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> but no, but, I... But why yeah. would you, Okay, back at you. Okay. McDavid shows up. I'm going to yes, show you I'm how in. to shoot. <laughs> show me. Right? Yeah. He's going to say, here, you, you're doing this part wrong. Here's the way that you do that. Exactly. Try I'd, this. I'd be like, yep, <laughs> I will. Yeah, yeah, you probably would. And I'd thank yeah. you. You know, you know what I mean? I'd, I'd thank him for it. And, and that's just because he's good. At what he does. Right. Well, God God's is perfect what he perfect. does. Perfect. But he perfectly loves you. Yes. Yeah. And you put that match together, and that's why the scripture is mm -hmm. consider yourself fortunate. Yeah. It makes it perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. Right. You can fully trust him to be the one in control, the one sovereign through this adversity, and you can trust his perfect love that this is for your good. And sometimes this is what's going on is God allows you this pain. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the very fact of his love and the truth mm -hmm. that's needed. So he actually allows you to be in the pain. Yeah. But his purposes are, are far greater than oh. the pain. Yes. Yeah. And that's with Daniel. Yes. The pain was huge, though. 15-year-old, yes. ripped away from his home and family, um, lost relatives. I mean, broken everything. Everything's broken. He's a prisoner of war. And this kid is not saying, why me? No. He's basically trusting that God's got this greater purpose. Mm -hmm. And so he's just keeping his love for God and he's going to trust God through all of the face, things he's facing and that he's going into. So his correction, he was part of this, mm -hmm. but his correction was an add-on. It's like McDavid showing him how to shoot better. And he constantly learned through his life how to shoot better. Yep. Right, right, because right. Because he could be, he could learn. And that's the second word we want to bring in. Hmm. Not just correction. Correction is meant to educate. Yes. Yep. Yes. What is this problem teaching me? Let Education is big today, right? Yes, big time. Yeah. People in their homes. What's yeah. one of the biggest concerns for their kids? That they get educated well, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. One yeah. of the hardest things has been this time out on school. Mm. Uh, because you want your, <laughs> your kids' education to continue yeah. to go forward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, you want them to be educated. Why? Because it's Because for their benefit. Yeah. You want to see them succeed. You want to see them grow. You want to see them be a part of society and contribute, right? So, the key to education is that they not just go to school. Mm. But that they become learners. Yes. Exactly. There's a difference. Yes. And right, and, teacher? 
Yes, uh, there absolutely is. <laughs> and my, and, and, yeah, and my goodness, God gives us so much power in in these types of situations because we we can see. Okay, God wants to correct me in this, but we have the power literally to just say no. Mm. I don't. I don't want to take that education. I don't want what you're trying to mm-hmm. teach me. I'm good. I'm going to sit in the pain. Which, which yeah. Th- this is where, though, like for for folks here, if they view the pain they're going in right now mm-hmm. as it's an education, but this is not just information. Yeah. This is making you a learner. Yeah. And that's the critical component about education because education is lifelong. That's yes. right. And it's not a paper on the wall. No. Education is a lifelong experience of being a learner, but you can't be a learner without mm-hmm. humility. And what increases our humility is correction. That's right. <laughs> correction is fundamental mm-hmm. to becoming a learner, in fact. Absolutely. I think of so many times when I've tried to, you know, teach my kids on something and until there's some level of buy-in from yeah. them, there yeah. is just about impossible to get them to really take those words and and turn them into uh, an action or a a lesson that they can grow in. So there has to be that hunger for always wanting to learn. And sometimes there just has to be that pain to get, you know, to be the buy-in, to get you to buy into it. In fact, I I would say just about every time there has Mm -hmm. to be some level of pain to turn you into a learner. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Otherwise, you know, another thing about learning is a lot of times we just want to learn down one track. Yeah. So I like this video game. I want to learn how to do it. Right. Right. So Mm -hmm. I want to learn at this video game, right? Mm -hmm. That's not learning. Yeah. That's just you going down a very comfortable track. Yes. You're increasing a skill, but you're not really becoming a learner. Yeah. You know, it, it, learning is this breadth of us. Yes. That is open to truth Mm -hmm. and finding it. In, in all of the struggles of life, in my relationship struggles, in my financial struggles, yeah. in every aspect of my life. If I'm a learner, mm-hmm. I'm never going to worry about coming out of it in good standing. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. I was just, as you were talking, it was just hitting me that sometimes now I can just be reminded, uh, either watching someone else go through something or hearing something, I can be reminded of a a lesson I had to learn through pain a long time ago that maybe I've got a little off course on and I can get redirected because I have gone through that pain before. I've been corrected. Maybe it was a long time ago and I'm just sort of forgetting it and (laughs) I can just hear something and it's like, Oh, and I still get that little twinge of the pain <laughs> yeah. and like, okay, you know, figure it out. Get there quickly. There, yeah. yeah. I'm not going back there. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's exactly right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, you're speaking my story. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. you know, that is how it works for us. Mm-hmm. And so it's becoming a learner. Yeah. So we got a question for you tonight. What is the problem teaching me? Mm-hmm. Okay, because it's teaching you something. Yes. And uh, it, if you're a learner, you can be taught. Yes. So if it's not teaching you nothing, guess where the basic problem is? Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. Then it's you and God's going to have to increase the heat to turn you into a yeah. learner. Yeah. So this question is for learners. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. If you're a learner, then what is this problem teaching me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Christians, you should always be learners because of our humility before God's truth and God's love. That's right. So what am I learning in this problem? What can mm. he teach me? Uh, you might be in economic, right? Yeah. yeah. You might be in relational. You yeah. might be in health. Yeah. Fear, you might be whatever. in all kinds of different things we can't even imagine in the specifics mm-hmm. of things. Yeah. Right? But I would tell you that it can teach you something if you are a learner. Yeah. And the pain is part of that. Yeah. So when the pain comes, don't go to the why me. Daniel didn't do it. Yeah. No. And he was able to get his life solid right off the bat as a young guy Absolutely. and go forward. Yeah. You need to get solid. You get solid by being a learner. You get to be a learner because you respond to the pain. Mm-hmm. You take correction and you say, what is this teaching me? Yeah. What can this teach me? Yeah, How I can I be better in this relationship? We're going through pain. I want to be better, even smarter. And, I, and we'll finish up with this. Smarter is to learn from others. That's right. Yeah, that's the right yeah. thing. Yeah. You might not be going through relational pain, right? But you see others going through that mm-hmm. in a deep pain. Yep. Yeah. Learn. 
Yes, learn. A learner can grab lessons not just from personal pain. Yeah. They can grab lessons from pain in the world. That's right. I don't want to go there. I don't want to be there. Yeah. Well, fools go yeah. into those kinds of things without getting the lesson. That's right. I've been foolish. Me too. I think you might have been once or twice. Yep. Yeah. Let's, let's just become great learners. Yeah. Exactly. Let pain make you a learner. Then ask this question. Exactly. What is this problem teaching me? So in your group or if you're on your own, you can do this. What is the thing I'm in right now teaching me? Where, what is it really teaching me? And if you're saying, oh man, I'm not really learning anything. It's just pain. <laughs> you got to become a learner. Yep. Mm. God's got some things to teach. He always has things to teach. Mm -hmm. And you need to go to God with that again. Yeah. And you say, God, oh my gosh, <laughs> what is it you are trying to teach me? And you're going to be surprised at how good you can get edumacated. <laughs> <laughs> get damn edumacations. <laughs> Absolutely necessary. <laughs> we'll be on to another question tomorrow night. See you then.